Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. Guys, there's something I need to talk to you about that I've been talking about this for, for quite some time. And it's one of these subjects that never goes away. It, it, it's like lint, you know, lint on your shirt. It, it sometimes you notice it and other times you don't. It's just there. And oftentimes when you ignore things like this, they end up causing big problems later on in the future. I'd like to talk about this self-confessed mystic. And I've talked about him many, many times. He goes by the name of Sir One. His real name is Andrew Ejimadu, a con man that hails from the country of Nigeria. And the thing about this guy, Andrew, is that we first heard about him a few years ago when he claimed he said that there were members of the Patriotic Front that had gone to see him and he gave them some charms. He gave them some uh, fetishes some items that had some type of spiritual significance and he said he claimed and this was all on facebook he claimed that if i do not get these things back if these patriotic front members do not return my things they will die and the whole country was oh oh andrew and everybody started shivering and thinking oh who is he talking about which minister is going to walk out of his house and drop dead in front of their homes well the truth is andrew tried to penetrate the power structure of this country by becoming close to certain members of the government and anytime you have a government official that is not spiritually alert they are susceptible to these spiritual mystical con men the world is replete the world is full of these self-confessed mystics that call themselves holy men call themselves men that have an extra insight into life an insight that they say you cannot see mystics that claim to have a sixth sense when in actuality they're nothing but con men andrew has been a con man from the time that he knew how to speak he used to be based there in south africa he had a church in south africa where he would perform these amateur magic tricks where he would claim to vomit money and those dwanzi south africans boy i tell you what you know they they lapped it all up I mean, Andrew, can, he, he deceived them hook, line, and sinker. So many South Africans fell for that, for that fallacy of vomiting money. And Andrew was selling this gospel of getting something for nothing. Basically, that's what he was doing. He was telling his congregation, if he ever had a congregation, it was just a group of people. Sometimes he would meet under a tree. Sometimes he would claim to own a big edifice, a big structure, when really none of that was true. He was just a mystic. And, and people are drawn to that. People are drawn to something that they think is bigger than themselves. And this, then that's the flaw of humanity because humanity seeks something spiritual. And anytime you have a guy who steps up on the podium, steps up on a platform, and he looks at you toe to toe, eyeball to eyeball, and says to you, I have power that you need. I can give you what you want. Because you're desperate, you will reach out to such a man. But anyway, so so here it is, you know, Andrew, he, he was doing his thing in South Africa, you know, performing magic. And, and they were not magic tricks. They were amateur magic tricks. There's no such thing, guys. Let's be clear. There is no such thing as vomiting money. Those are lies. You must know that. Okay. So anytime someone says to you, I can vomit money and I'm the answer to your problem. All you have to do is sow a seed is send me money through Airtel money. Those are con artists. Facebook is replete with them. There's that Bushiri. The, 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 the young man that calls himself Shepherd Bushiri. 
who had a, a, a false empire built on the on a foundation of lies in South Africa. Well, he got in trouble and he escaped South Africa, went back to, to, to Malawi. And he's thriving today in Malawi with the same modus operandi. The same gimmicks of deceiving people. Here it is, Andrew also did the same thing. He escaped South Africa because you have to remember when Andrew was here in Zambia, he was removed because he was molesting little children in his church, little 14, 13, 15 year old girls that he was taking advantage of. And the, the parents of these children were being threatened. They were being told that if they went to the authorities, some unfortunate happening would befall them in their home he would use the title the tag of a prophet when really he's nothing but a con man nothing but a mystic there is no there is not one single iota of prophetic quality about andrew and yet here it is you've got these people that are so spiritually blind so spiritually dwanzi they believe it and so whenever you, andrew would molest a child uh, a parent that would feel aggrieved and angry and furious that parent was told if you go to the authorities something horrible is going to happen to you because i am the prophet of god and you cannot question me this is the op modus operandi of these crooks he did the same thing he's done it with so many people i mean i remember when when uh, uh who's the pastor tell me in the comments below pastor what was his name sunday something tell me in the comments i'll read it now as soon as you tell me who it is i'll i'll tell you sunday sinyangwe he andrew said the most insensitive the most foolish the most repudiating the most repugnant thing about sunday sinyangwe's wife and because andrew knows that many of you believe in that sort of mysticism he says it he said uh, I put something in your wife's stomach. Pure lies. Lies that are made. Lies that are, that are constructed to plant fear into you. Andrew has no such power. Hear it from me. Let me tell you clearly. Anyone, any one of these prophets that stands in front of you and says, Thus saith the Lord, God has spoken to me. You're going to die in three days. Run from that man and tell him you are a liar. You are a merchant of the devil and the truth is not in you. Stand on the word of God when these foolish false prophets lie to you in that fashion. They don't have such power. Bushiri. There's a new one now. His name is, um, what's his name? Isaiah, tell me in the comments. Isaiah something. Isaiah, I forget his name now. I remember it now. Whatever the hell his name is. He does the same thing. I prophesy that one of you is going to die. And if you don't contact my office. And you see, this is the hook. This Isaiah, uh, Brian Bovey or Ovi. He said, I've seen it in the spirit. God has spoken to me. I see it in the realm of the spirit. One of you is going to die. And all you have to do is contact my office. And we will pray for you. Nonsense. If you don't know Bible, people like that will, will, will take advantage of you. There is one mediator between man and God. And that is the man, Christ Jesus. We have one advocate. There's nothing in there about Andrew being your advocate. There's nothing in there about Moses, uh, Isaiah being your advocate. Moses, you Isaac, Bovi, Bovi, Andrew, Isaac, Brian, Bovi. advocate So why do you believe them? And and this is the modus operandi. They use fear. To grip you fear to enslave you but oh you look at these false prophets and you tell them that god hasn't given me the spirit of fear he's given me the spirit of a sound mind tell them that don't sit there and shrivel and and collapse under their shadow 
They're a man just like you. They're a human being. There is no deity. There is not one iota of deity about them. So let me continue. So here is Andrew. The, the government of Zambia, this was under the PF. They said, this guy, Uyu Andrew, you, it's better to amutamfia, to amufunyam no Zambia. Because when you have such a mystic and you in, you plant him in the in the in the the the, 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 the correctional facility in, in a correctional facility environment, such people cause big big problems. They can even cause an uprising within the prison because they know the gift of the gab. They have the gift of the gab. They talk and they use spirituality to deceive people. So the government of the PF decided, no, 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 you Andrew, you, I think you are a traitor of your problems. They get into Mufunya, to Mutanfi, Andrew. They sent him back to Nigeria. Andrew, Mukufulwa, Afulwa, Mutanfi, Shani. And you see, here's the thing. I want you to get this. I want you to get, I'm going to throw it up here. Andrew's a con man that tried to penetrate the power structure of Zambia. His goal was to get close to the high-ranking police officers because this is what these guys do. These guys are devious. I'm telling you what I want to, they are dangerous. What they do is that they try to penetrate the power structure of a country. They make sure that they're close to the judges, they're close to high-ranking police officers, they're close to high-ranking politicians, they start speaking into the lives of politicians. They'll say to a politician, Iwe, let's announce to reveal, you walk our president. Now, Iwe as a Dwanzi spiritual politician, I'm going to be, yes, God has spoken to me. God has revealed it to me in the realm of the spirit. I can see it. God is preparing you for the presidency. Now, here's what happens with that. When a, a spiritual mystic convinces you that you are meant to be president. Let's say perchance you do become president. Who do you think you owe that presidency to? That chap is going to convince you that you are president because of him and the words he spoke. So everything he says to you, you listen to. It happened to the uh, 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 King uh, Nicholas II over there in Russia. Rasputin did that to the royal family. Rasputin was instrumental in the destruction of the Russian royal family because he was leading the royal family in the wrong way. They were listening to his foolish antics. But by the time they realized it, it was too late. It was too late. The Russian royal family was destroyed because of a mystic who took advantage of the Russian royal family. So here it is now, uh, when we as Zambia we expelled Andrew he spent some time in South Africa he tried to do a few things there it didn't work he started getting in trouble in South Africa because you know habits die hard bad habits die hard the same things he was doing here in Zambia molesting little girls is the same thing he was doing in South Africa now add to that embezzlement taking advantage of people making people believe in the pie in the sky meaning if you send me x amount of money god will perform a miracle that's andrew plays with his phone he just he depends on his phone because that gadget of his is where he receives money from you there are so many women that send andrew money one young lady a zambian woman she said to me she said she sent him two thousand dollars u.s dollars u.s and she said the moment it went it was like a light went off in my head i said wait a minute if i'm sending him two thousand dollars if i'm able to make two thousand dollars on my own what the heck do i need andrew for but by then it was too late and the only thing andrew sent back to her he sent her three things a ring a silver ring okay a silver ring that umumu city market niten kwacha to go to my rings. Well, this isn't 10 kwacha, but the, to buy silver rings, Busanga Musiti Market. You can find silver rings for 10 kwacha. And then he sends you a small bottle of rock salt. And then he sends you anointing oil in a little container with his face on it, with the, with the words, do as I say. And then he gives you a list of instructions. Gawabuka, wake up at 12 o'clock at night, sprinkle some oil. 
pray for two minutes take the rock salt mix it in water the water has to be at a certain temperature drink it slowly if you deviate from any of those steps god will not give you the miracle you seek na imwe kwa tifi pulu mwakonka oh the kenny to okay but we have a part to work at 12 koroko who become one man she who become chile to sense do as i say to fall in a ring ubu fi ubu lo shifi weka weka ubu lo shi that is witchcraft na imwe mwene chumfuila le lo le lo nadi i knew during the the upnd the struggles of the UPND. This guy was gung ho. You know the word gung ho? He was a full UPND supporter. Bali, Bali, Bali. And I thank God. I don't know if President Hitchinima watches me on TV. I don't know. I mean, on Facebook. I don't know. But if, perchance, if he's watching this right now, President Hitchinima, I want to, I want to, I want to personally thank you for never acknowledging Andrew. I thank you for that. Because in, in President Hitchlimmer's wisdom, he knew that these are not the types of people to thank and to acknowledge. These chaps are the enemies. What, what, what would it profit this nation to acknowledge a man like Andrew? A man who has no loyalty to this nation? No, no. Andrew is a Nigerian con man that ignores the multiplied multiplicity of multitudinous problems that his nation is embroiled in. Nigeria has problems up to here. And here you are, you come talking about Zambia. Who the hell do you think you are? We've got people that speak for this nation. Zambian citizens, men and women of this soil, men and women that were born on this territory. How dare you come across like you love Zambia more than we? Which Pubawe? Which Nangwa? Where you were called? Where you were? Whatever. If what you are more loyal to Zambia than us, when Koko where? Which Pulu where? If you've got anything to say, Andrew, talk about your country. <laughs> Nigeria is in. Listen, you've got so many things to talk about Nigeria. Nigeria has got problems from here to kingdom come. You can spend your whole life talking about the problems that your country is embroiled in. We have our own problems, but we have our citizens that deal with this problem. It's like a home. It's like a house. Brothers and sisters in a home. My wife and I, we've got four kids. Every so often, my kids, you know, they'll argue, they'll differ, but they're my kids. They're my children in my home. What type of foolish father would I be if I allowed someone from, from, from just some far flung country and he comes into my house and starts telling me about my kids? Who the hell do you think you are stepping into my home and chastising my children? No, 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 no. We're not going to allow that. That's what you Zambians do. You allow this con man, this despot, this jackal, this hyena to come and slither his way into our affairs and you cheer him on. How dare you? Zambia has Zambians who stand up for this nation. Not only stand up for it, we love it. We love it genuinely. You think Andrew's love for Zambia can outshine your love? Oh, there's a question. There's a question. You think Andrew's love or perceived conjured love for Zambia can outshine your love for this nation? No, no. That's nonsense. Nonsense. This is DJ Mutati exclusive. All right, that's all right for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you. Peace. I gotta go.